In my previous tutorial, I mistakenly said that the rest operator allowed you to get the rest of an array. This is sort of true and sort of not. It allows you to get the rest of any arguments passed into a function as an array. Mea culpa. JavaScript has always allowed you to send an arbitrary number of arguments to a function, even beyond those actually defined in said function, and then made those available as an arguments variable within the function. You could then iterate over the arguments, like this. Save that, and check it out. Just as expected. The problems that arise are, one, you can't use all of the various array methods on the arguments object because it is not an array. Two, the arguments object includes any arguments you did define as parameters. So for example, this code is problematic. Can you tell what's going to happen here? Save it, and refresh. Bob and Jen get duplicated. We have two parameters defined and are using those, but we also want to handle any other arguments passed to the function. However, we don't want to repeat Bob and Jen there, right? So that's where the new rest operator comes in. Check this out. This should take us back to our original output. Save it, refresh, and there we go. We're literally getting the rest of the arguments rather than all of them, since the first two parameters cover the first two arguments. What's that you say? You'd like to see it in action with a function that's somewhat less stupid? Seems reasonable. Try this one. All right, save that. And refresh. Each person owes $48. As you can see, that's really handy for working with functions that are built to take an arbitrary number of arguments but still do something useful with them. Next week, we're going to talk about template literals, which we're using again up above with total per person. Right there. Then, the following week, we'll cover the spread operator, which has some similarities to the rest operator, but is used differently. As always, you can download example files for each of these tutorials from the JS Quick Hits GitHub repo. I'll link that in the YouTube description. See you next week.